morning, Courtney. Huh? Is the party over? Yes. And I don't think I'm alone when I say last night's party got a tad out of hand. Did you manage to put the fire out in your quarters? Affirmative. And I'd be grateful if we'd never mention it again. So, who exactly is responsible for the fact our food supply is now orbiting the ship? <laughs> well, that would be you. Do you not remember your new airlock game? Now you see it, now you don't. Ah, yes, of course. I'd be grateful if we don't... Never mention it again. Gotcha. Which brings me to my final question. Mm -hmm. Who exactly is responsible for that? <laughs> ah, um... Oh, no, Danny's house is on. <laughs> Guys, great to see you. My name's Danny, and this is her best friend Sam. Sam, as I was saying, my name's Danny, and this is her other best friend Jack. Stuffing his face as usual. As I was saying, my name's Danny, and this is her brother Max. As his mate Ben. Just get oh, away! Oh, oh, Quiet! As I was saying, my name's Danny, and this is Danny. Oh, oh, Danny, I'm here. What's the emergency? Something amazing happened last night. I thought you went to Mahertie's party. I did, and I met the guy of my dreams. He's Mr. Amazing. Oh, he was Captain Hook. I was Peter Pan. Aren't they sworn enemies? He's tall and <laughs> handsome with these gorgeous long black pirate curls. <laughs> What's he doing? Some competition. He's been on hold since lunchtime. Am I doing a delivery guy come? <laughs> I can't sleep. I've got butterflies and all I can eat is garlic bread. <laughs> love is so weird. Actually, it's a very simple chemical reaction. Love is basically a mood-enhancing neurotransmitter called dopamine. Is there no romance in your soul? <laughs> Did you exchange numbers? Numbers? We exchanged our innermost feelings. Our hopes, our fears, our dreams for a world where man and beast can live in peace and harmony. I think I'm going to be sick. Too many donuts? <laughs> no, I've just overheard Danny. But too many donuts. Good idea. We're basically an item. But you hardly know the guy. It was love at first sight. Plus, he's not a total stranger. His mum works on the show. So, when do I get to meet Mr. Amazing? <laughs> he's on his way over now. <gasps> You're gonna love him. He's like a guy version of me. <laughs> Here's your sandwich, Max. What? I won. I won the competition. <laughs> I just won a double pass to the Truck Cracker Ballet. You mean the Monster Truck Ballet? Mm -hmm. Those tickets are like gold dust. You're so lucky. May I touch you, awesome one? Uh, no. <sighs> what am I going to do with that spare ticket? And you seem hungry. Have had a sandwich. You're tense. Come, relax. How about a shoulder rub? <laughs> How about this one? You look great. OK, I'll change. Do not change outfits again. If this really is love, it doesn't matter what you wear. You're right, it's just, when we met last night, I was in fancy dress, and today it's just me. Is that a doily? <laughs> Mr. Amazing was on his way over. Mr. Amazing? The actual superhero with the power to stop time? <laughs> no, Mr. Amazing, the guy Danny's fallen in love with? Ooh, falling in love with a superhero. You do realise the bad guys will try and kidnap you, right? <laughs> it's not a superhero, his name's Nick. Right. You fall in love with an ordinary guy? called Nick. What is he on about? I have no idea. <laughs> What's going on? Max is giving up his dignity and self-respect for a shot at my spare ticket to the Monster Truck Ballet. You can have two points. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be him. Maybe I should get it. Don't you dare. Max, you should probably stay in your bedroom during this next visit. <laughs> I should probably stay in my bedroom for this next visit. <laughs> wow. Who knew the monster truck ballet could actually help me out? <laughs> How do I look? Unattractively desperate. Thanks. You look great, Danny. <laughs> yes? Hi. It's me. <laughs> are you? And uh, you are? Nick. From last night. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, what happened to your gorgeous black curls? My Jack Sparrow wig. I took it back to the costume shop, didn't I? Oh, it was a wig, obviously. Right. These are for you. Oh. <coughs> wow. I can hardly smell them because of the overpowering aroma of um, 
Is that aftershave? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've been shaving every other day for a couple of years now. Great. Well, come on through. This is Sam, this is Jack, and uh, this is Nick. Hi. Nice to meet you. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Hi. Amazing to meet you. Oh, soft hands. Do you moisturise? Because. <laughs> no. Okay, a little. <laughs> All right, I'll do. <laughs> It's so funny, you totally freak them out, but um, you don't need to try so hard with these guys. What do you mean? Well, just feel free to be yourself, like you were last night. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I've uh, got to ring my mum and get her to iron some of my underpants. <laughs> Running low. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he told you, but I'm pretty sure that's not Mr Amazing. He was talking to me right up close like this. And his aftershave smells like cat food. He's probably just a little bit nervous. You two can be pretty intimidating. Either that or you were wearing one serious pair of rose tinted spectacles last night. <laughs> it's not you, it's me. I just don't think we have a future together. It's my ears, isn't it? No, no, it's not your ears. In that case, it must be my eyes. No, your eyes are dreamy. So what's wrong? If I'm going to be honest, I thought there was more to you. All right, it's my chin, isn't it? You don't like the way it goes up and down. <laughs> all right, it's your chin. I knew it. You're just like all the rest. First, it's the up and down chin. Then it's, oh, sorry, I don't date guys who are made out of cardboard. Well, fine, I'm out of here. <laughs> don't suppose you could carry me to a taxi? Please. <laughs> Uh, no. Is he still talking to his mum? <laughs> okay, I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. I was very, 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 very wrong. I need to break up with him. Three. Okay, bye. I'm really sorry, Danny. Um, I've got to go. My mum needs me. Uh, got to run. I have a problem with the pants. <laughs> okay, I'll break up with him tomorrow, straight after work. Mr. Amazing is history. <laughs> oh, hi. I was wondering if I'd bump into you. Bump into me? This is my bedroom. What are you doing? Nothing, nothing at all. You're working for Jack, aren't you? Of course not. How's the research going? Any news on Italy? To do research for his round-the-world trip. <sighs> there are eight all-you-can-eat pizza restaurants in Rome. Three in Florence and one in pizza. Pizza, bless you. <laughs> this one has a youth hostel across the road from it. Nice. Eight points. Good work, Ben. And chocolate milk when you get a moment, Max. Yeah, coming right up. Don't you see what he's doing to us? What we've become? But there's only one spare ticket to the Monster Truck Ballet. How about instead of double-crossing each other, we work together and double-cross Jack? Not sure I follow. I've got a secret weapon. What is it? It's in the wardrobe. It's the mother of all weapons. So powerful, it will end this contest once and for all. Where is it? I can't see it. Oh, it's right at the back. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, let me out of here. Oh, Sorry, my friend, but it's like you said. There's only one spare ticket, and it shall be mine. <laughs> Okay, quite a sec, please. We are recording. And action. Dr. Rugburn's diagnosis was right. I am suffering from the Black Death. Cut! Good job, Danny. Really, thanks. Oh, actually, Zumina, do you have a minute? I'm a little bit worried about this new storyline. I mean, how's it gonna end for Nurse Wood Magnet? I'll be honest with you, Danny, which is something you won't hear me say very often. Killing you off was a real possibility. Oh, right. <laughs> but last night, seeing you at the party, I decided I shouldn't. I realised that you'd become part of the team. Sandwich lady, get me a bacon bap and a frappe. Yes, sir. Danny, <laughs> you're offering me free sandwiches and frappe. Well, in that case, same again, please. Thanks, sandwich lady. All right. <laughs> hey, you! That fake blood's for my personal use. <laughs> Read the labels, Arena Wicks. Put it in my office. Hey, Danny. A delivery from Nick Wicks. Thanks. Nick Wicks? Wicks? 
Serena Wicks. I'm dating my boss's son. <laughs> I can't break up with Nick. Yes, you can, Danny. You could be really mean if you set your mind to it. No, I mean, I can't break up with him because he's Serena's son. That's why he was at the party. But you don't like him. Why should you date him? As long as I'm with Nick, my part on the show's safe. Danny, you can't date him. He close talks, he smells of cat food, and he follows you around like a lost puppy. Yeah, what else can she do? <laughs> you know, if she dumps him, she's just gonna be in the boss's black box, isn't she? Ah, yes. OK, listen. What if Nick breaks up with me? That way, I'm the one who's rejected, and Zarina has no reason to kill off my character. Well, I don't know, he's pretty keen. I mean, what makes you think he's gonna dump you? Meet clingy girlfriend. <laughs> I am gonna smother him with loving attention and pretend I wanna be with him forever. Guys hate that. Perfect. <laughs> Just an example of the tacos and nachos you could enjoy. I love Mexican food. Where would I go for this? Um, Mexico. Oh, thanks, Max. That's great. Oh, did you pick up my donut order? Uh, yes. <sighs> oh, Sugar-coated heaven in a box. Um, Jack. About that spare monster truck ticket of yours. Ah, oh, of course. Mate, that ticket's virtually yours. I haven't seen Ben all day. It's like he vanished or something. <laughs> oh. What's this? It came to you earlier. I thought you ordered it. Oh, excellent! It's the backpack I wanted. Oh, it's so cool. Look, it's got a padlock. <laughs> Two Jack. Bon voyage. Love, Ben. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> oh, I'll go get the door, yeah? Just... Hi. Is, uh, is Danny in? You must be Mr. Amazing. <laughs> I'm Nick. I see, so... So, where did you and Danny meet, then? My mum, she's the, uh, the sandwich lady at the studio. <laughs> oh, is she? Well, that must be very exciting for her. <laughs> Hi, Nick. What are you wearing? Get lost, worm. <laughs> thank you so much for the flowers you sent. Oh, you, you did already thank me. Uh, I got, like, 16 messages from you. Your texts kind of overloaded <laughs> my phone memory. Oh, I didn't mean to be annoying. I wasn't annoying. <laughs> what? No, um, I think I find it was. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I let my mum listen to a couple of your messages. They were just so cute. <sighs> you let your mum listen? Well, that's not embarrassing at all. Oh, don't worry. She said that she's taking extra special care of you at work. I have noticed some improvements. <laughs> some people don't really get along with her, but the fact is, without my mum, they'd all be going hungry. <laughs> <laughs> true. So, Very yeah. true. Oh, sweetie, I've got a surprise for you. A photo album? It's our wedding album. <laughs> a what? I superimposed our faces to make pictures. Look. Here's us exchanging rings. Here's us cutting the cake. And this is us on our honeymoon and you're scuba diving for pearls. I don't know what to say. Oh, oh, it's okay if this is too much too fast. Maybe I'm suffocating you. You can tell me anything, you know. I won't be upset. I, actually, there is something I did want to tell you, Danny. Go on. It's just, uh, I just feel so close to you right now. <laughs> Hold that thought. Make any sense? It's as if he likes you no matter what. He's actually looking through the wedding album, smiling. I can't need some serious help. What am I gonna do? If he doesn't break up with me, that wedding album is gonna become my reality. Well, you know what they say? The way to a man's heart, through his stomach. What have you got in mind? <laughs> hmm. Is that it? Hold on. What if I add mustard, <laughs> coffee, <laughs> salt, <laughs> and oh, fish oil? <laughs> I really hope this works. <laughs> Wow. Danny, you're an amazing chef. What did you put in that? I must have the recipe. <laughs> this one is definitely a keeper. How will I ever let him go? Wow. <laughs> Here we go. Grubs up. 
Where would you like it? At your console or on your lap? You ejected our entire food supply into outer space. There's nothing left to eat on the ship. Don't let that minor detail ruin your lunch. Enjoy. <laughs> My bowl's completely empty. No, it's not. Galaxian Soffle, that is. A delicate blend of subtle ingredients whipped and baked until it's light as air. <laughs> Don't be shy. Tuck in. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> I smothered him with the attention. It only made him like me more. I gave him a disgusting soup and now he wants the recipe. You should break up with him yourself. Think how his mum will react. He tells her everything. Danny, the trouble is, you're great. That's why he loves you. That's it. We need a plan. We need to try and convince him I'm a terrible person. I need him to think that I'm manipulative, mean and horrible. And I think, what's the worst thing I could possibly do? Did the backpack arrive OK? Internet shopping can be so tricky. Do you realise that for the cost of that backpack, you could have bought two tickets to the Monster Truck Ballet? Obviously. Except the truck cracker is completely sold out. This competition is tearing us apart. Has to stop. Oh, no. This is what you said before. Then you locked me in your wardrobe. My violin teacher was right about you. I mean it this time. I don't even want to go with Jack. I'd much rather go with you. What's the plan? We target Jack's weak spot. The thing he loves most. The thing he can't live without. Late script changes, Danny. Wow. Nurse Wood Magnet's got a lot of new lines. Oh, I decided to expand your Black Death storyline. You're taking the main plot this week. <laughs> Look, Serena, I think I know why you're doing this. And I really appreciate Thank it. me when your photo's on the front cover of TV Days. I'm gonna get the cover. Don't let me down. My reputation's on the line here. Your big scene's on Saturday. No. No, stupid. You've got to keep your organ on ice. Serena, could I have a word, please? Never had so many lines. Yesterday, I was about to die from the plague, and today, I'm affecting an entire troop of Cub Scouts. <laughs> no, no. Danny, for you, lunch is on the house. Really? Well, that's more like it. Thank you, sandwich lady. And um, while you're here, I'll just take a few of these. Oh, and uh, some of them for, uh, for later. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> no, because I'm dating Zarina's son. Oh no, I've got to stop Jack and Sam. I've got to cancel the plan. Right, here's the plan. Release the parachute before you hit terminal velocity. And look out for that goalpost. No, 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 I can't do this. I've changed my mind. I've got to cancel the plan. I'll do anything if you let me back out. Well, if you're sure, well, you'll have to fill out this form. Oh, thank you so much. I don't want to do anything I'd regret. Yeah, initial there and sign down there. OK. Have you got a pen? No, sorry. But there's one down the office. Look, there's the office. Jump now and you'll land in the lobby. They'll have a pen. Thank you so much for your help. I'll go and cancel this job straight away. Yeah, don't forget your phone. Oh, cheers. <laughs> talking to? What plan? Nick, what are you doing here? I just couldn't wait to see you. Do you mind? No, of course not. I just uh, need to call my friends and cancel some plans that we made. <laughs> Jack, if you get this, abort the operation. I repeat, operation breakup is a no-go. Operation <laughs> breakup? <laughs> makeup. Jack was um, going to give me a makeover for his course in makeup studies. Uh, hey, look. I've got tickets for the climbing wall this Saturday. Do you want to come? What, this Saturday? I was shooting my big scene. What would your mum say? She's the one that got us the tickets. What, for this Saturday? Oh, maybe the shooting schedule's changed. All I know is she said climbing was a good idea and thinks that you need a bit of upper body strength anyway. Well, if your mum bought the tickets, I guess I'm taking Saturday off. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> How do I look? 
<laughs> Ridiculous. So a slight improvement in how you normally look. Oh, great. I think. Well, just as long as Nick thinks Danny's dating me as well as him, he's bound to break up with her. Don't forget, Danny's gonna deny everything, but that's just for show. No matter how much she denies it, keep the lie going. Just keep it going. This is our big chance to help Danny get rid of Nick. All right, let's do it. High five. <laughs> Sorry. Hand-eye coordination's not really my strong suit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you get my message? What message, my sweet little apple strudel? Hey, guys, uh, what's going on? Oh, no, Nick's here. We thought he wasn't going to be here. No, of course Nick's here, and the plan has changed, so we don't need to do what we were going to do, get it? No. <laughs> I am Danny's boyfriend, Eduardo. Pleasure to meet you, eh? Danny's boyfriend. Look, I'm Danny's boyfriend, and you're not Eduardo. You're Jack. <laughs> We've already met. <laughs> it's, it's a big mistake, yeah? It's just a big mistake. It happens all the time because, uh, because... Eduardo is Jack's almost identical great uncle. From France. No, I'm not dating Eduardo. This is ridiculous. Too right, and you're not fooling anyone, bust. I mean, that's just a cheap wig. And that's a fake moustache. Oh, for goodness sake. All right, I admit it. Nick's seen through my charade. There is no Eduardo. Thank you. The truth is, it's me. Jack, who you've been dating all this time. What? Disguised as Eduardo. Uh, you've been two-time me with Nick. No, I haven't. Uh, you have. Oh, just stop it! Just drop this whole thing. It's over, OK? Over! It's over? What's over? You mean you're dumping him? What? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Jack, Eduardo, you're dumped. I've met Nick in your history. Ouch. <laughs> OK, now I'm confused. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought you were a sweet, loving, warm-hearted girl, but, I mean, the way you just dumped Jack, one of your best friends you've just discovered has been secretly dating you in disguise as Eduardo. I mean, wow. I mean, that's just cold. <laughs> or maybe it just shows how much I like you. <laughs> oh, shh, the pips. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse us for just a second. <laughs> you too. Eduardo, nice guy. I thought you wanted him to break it off. He was putty in your hands. He was so bad to just dump you. I'm sorry, but it turns out dating Zarina's son has got his advantages. Today, I got this huge storyline. Plus, I got a free pass to the climbing ball this Saturday. <laughs> More about his close talking, mouth breathing, mm. cat food smell. <laughs> a few trivial details if it means I'm in Zarina Wicks's inner circle. Are we back, my little sweet potato? <laughs> I mean, how hard could hanging out with Nick be? You know, I'm finding this all very stressful. I think it's time for my chili chocolate limited edition donut with butterscotch center and mascarpone icing, don't you think? It's a miracle how all your teeth are still intact. Ah! She's gone! <laughs> Someone's eating her. Wait a minute. If you want to see your donut again, give us both monster truck tickets or it's bye bye donut. They kidnapped her. Have they no moral code? <laughs> Such a drama queen. <laughs> okay. What have you done with her? Ah, Jack. We've been expecting you. Is this what you're looking for? <laughs> Yum, it smells so tasty. Ah, oh, okay, I'll do anything you want. Just, just don't hurt her. It's simple. Hand over the tickets, both tickets, and she's all yours. Oh, well, I was really looking forward to the monster truck ballet. Oh, OK, OK, <laughs> stop, stop, please. I'll just take them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hello, darling. I'm going to put you in the safest place I can think of. Ah, you do remember that I licked that? So? Uh... Wait a minute. These aren't tickets to the truck cracker. They're not? These are tickets to the nutcracker. <gasps> you mean the famous Christmas ballet composed by Tchaikovsky? I mean the puppet show performed by the Happy Nappy Puppet Troupe. Oh, right. Yeah, that would explain all the nursery rhymes I had to listen to while I was on hold. You mean we did all this just for some tickets to some stupid toddler puppet show? That chilli's got a real kick to it. <laughs> no!
So where is she? Serena, hi. Um, are you looking for Nick? Where have you been? Why didn't you show up for work this morning? What? You knew I was taking the day off. You gave us passes to the climbing wall, remember? Don't be ridiculous. Do you appreciate the chaos your absence has caused today? We had to get the writers to rewrite the storylines. Now it's Nurse Thorne who discovers the cure for the Black Death and falls in love with the scientist from the Environmental Health Agency. So, Nurse Wood Magnet doesn't have the main plot anymore? Of course she doesn't, you fool. But you knew I was taking the weekend off. You said it was OK. Nick said it was OK. Who's Nick? Your son? Wow, what kind of a mother are you? What? That's not my mum. <laughs> yes, it is. Why on earth would you think I was related to that? <laughs> His surname's Wix. W-I-X. Are you sure you're not related? Positive. I mean, my surname is Wix, but it's W-I-C-K-E-S. <laughs> but you said your mum works at the studio. That everyone would go hungry without her? Yeah, they would. She's the sandwich lady. So let me get this straight. I'm not dating my boss's son, and the sandwich lady gave me the day off. I see. You'll do what the sandwich lady tells you, but not what I ask you. We'll discuss this on Monday morning. Do not be late. Your mum is the sandwich lady. That's right. Danny, I'm breaking up with you. You're breaking up with me? I didn't want to believe it at first, but my mum says, you're rude, you're greedy, you stole all her food, and she says that you call her sandwich lady. Don't be silly. She, she has a name. And what is it? Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin? Goodbye, Danny. Well, at least the sandwich lady gave me lots of free lunches. Rumpelstiltskin? He said it. Yeah, I didn't say anything. Uh, you did, though. You read it wrong. Why did you read it wrong? Thank goodness our emergency food supply has arrived. Look, donuts. Oh, try one. I told you I'd solve our food shortage. Just got to have a can of brother's senses. <laughs> Wait, stop! You ate them all! There's none left for me! No, silly! I left you all the holes, see? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Fantastic flavour! Donut holes are the best! <laughs> <laughs>